all been waiting for, I present to you the death of the Batman. Let us see what you can do. Just how fast can you move? Men do not fight with toys. Counter my tactics. Will you confront or avoid? You must come through me, Batman. <laughs> he hit 
you so hard it hurt me!
kill you! Those were two very, very bad men. Ooh, the things they've done. You really don't want to know. They deserved death. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> Freeze! Don't move, freak! I think he's talking to you. Take him down! Let me guess. He got away. Take him to Blackgate. Where'd he go? Huh? The bat! The partner! <laughs> My partner? Who else would jump off a building to save your sorry ass? You know, officer. <laughs> I was wondering the same thing myself. Welcome to Blackgate. We're gonna do a quick psychiatric evaluation. Bad day, huh? Cops in this city. Always beating on the sick and defenseless. Tell me something, dear. Have you ever had a really bad day? And what do you mean by that? You all people should know. There's nothing so cruel as memory. The pointy, biting little thunderbolts, unwanted party crashes screaming for your synapses. <laughs> Inescapable, unrelenting, not at all friendly. You can't even escape into madness. <laughs> and then you meet someone who changes your life. And you feel that you don't even know who you are anymore. Isn't it funny how one little encounter can cleave off little pieces of your past, deform your memories and persona until you rethink your whole identity? <laughs> and as you realize how foolish it is, <laughs> your laughter reverberates off the walls of your own emptiness. Oh. I'm gonna need more specifics. How about we try some word association? That sounds... delightful. <laughs> okay. One more. And I need you to be serious for this one. Fate. <laughs> you wanna know something funny? I used to think of fate as evil. Predetermined, not by some higher power, no, but by the rules of human nature. Tonight, it's all changed. What's changed? Have you ever had the feeling that your entire life has been building towards this one moment? Is that how you feel? <laughs> well, now, yes. Now I realize that all the battles that bad days, the brutalities. It was all the hand of fate at work. So now you see fate differently? <laughs> Absolutely. Now I understand there are no chance encounters. It was all meant to be. Everything leading up to who I've met tonight. So you met someone special? Yeah. And you might say it's changed everything. Everything? Absolutely. 
I mean, do you realize what a vile world we live in? How lonely it is to wave through all that wretched filth on your own. It is kind of lonely, isn't it? Of course. Of course, you understand. Even in a crowd of other screwballs, <laughs> you're so alone that you can kick, claw, yell, scream at the top of your lungs. And no one cares. It's like you don't even exist. I feel... Sometimes I feel like I'm trapped on this path leading nowhere. Into just emptiness. Now you feel like you've got someone by your side. To share the journey with you. And how does that make you feel? I feel adrift, floating, like someone's pulled the stopper on my reality, and I'm sucked down the drain into something new. It's all very exciting, really. <laughs> you wouldn't know what that feels like, I'm sure. I might. Can you tell me more about how this person makes you feel? It's like meeting someone I can actually relate to. Which, believe me, dear, I've never felt before. <laughs> you understand. You're someone who's not afraid to let go and fall. <laughs> Free falling, and I didn't pack a shoot. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yes. Yes, I do. I figured you would. So, may I ask, who is this person? Oh, someone very, very special. But whose real name I don't even know yet. Uh... My name's Harleen. Harleen Quinzel. What a pretty name. Do your friends call you Harley? Oh, uh, I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Harley, you got one now. a bit anticlimactic, but I hoped you might finally be ready to celebrate Christmas Eve, now that the Joker's behind bars. Bane is still out there. I've got to locate the signal from the tracker I placed on him. Even you must eat, sir. If you hadn't called the police, he'd already be in custody. You know, I made a promise of my own to your parents. No sign of any casualties. Not now, Alfred. The story back to the precinct. Place is evac. Found bombs under the foundation. Some kind of hopped up freak. Must have been 400 pounds of muscle. Took six cops to gun that bastard down. Yeah, I saw the body in the morgue. Couldn't believe Sounds it. Sounds like this could be Bane or one of his men. If I hurry to the GCPD morgue, I can inspect the body and the autopsy report. Well, before you leave, I've run some tests on the compound you found at the steel mill. Looks like a match for your globular projectile for non-lethal restraint. You mean the glue grenade? Indeed. The resin has finished curing. It's at your workbench.
course, I'd recommend testing it here in the lab before you go. But I'm sure you won't listen to me. You never do. So I take it you won't be testing it, then? It's called field testing, Alfred. I need to find Bane. Is the tracker responding? Not at present, I'm afraid. Let me know if anything changes. Anything. You'll know as soon as I do, sir. I promise. I don't like this. I should try to use my new glue grenade to plug these pipes.
not Bane, but one of his men. The same one I saw at the riot in the precinct's holding cells earlier. I should scan his corpse. The victim was dosed with a chemical that caused temporary deformation of his physiology. I'll need to check the autopsy report to find out more. That computer should contain the autopsy report I'm looking for. Interesting. The victim was using a powerful compound with many similarities to the street drug Venom at the time of his death. It changes the user's muscle and bone structure, greatly enhancing strength for a temporary period. It appears that whatever this compound is, it reduces mental capacity in several ways, including severe damage to the brain's memory center. Prolonged use could seriously compromise the user's memory. There's Bane's tracker. All available units, we've received reports of shots fired inside the Coventry district. Witnesses describe two armed groups fighting over what appear to be chemical weapons. Requesting any available officers, locate and secure the scene. Chemical weapons. I should investigate. I should hurry to Bane's location before I lose the signal again. down that tunnel.
Unless... Maybe I can use my glue grenade to create a raft. Tracking device is in here somewhere, which means Bane is likely in here as well. Impressive work, but it looks like Bane hasn't found a way to counter the damaging side effects this compound has on the brain's memory centers. Some of this research is dedicated to overcoming his own addiction and dependency on Venom. He can't survive without it. safe at Wayne Manor. Got it. I'll call the police. No, I can't risk them discovering my identity as well. Just secure yourself in the Batcave. What are you going to do? I'm on my way to you. I'll figure something out. I need to get back to the Batcave, and quickly. Joker's behind bars, and he's putting those people in danger to get to me. Delta 6-5 to dispatch. Who's the OIC at Pioneer? Captain James Gordon is the officer in charge. could be at risk at the bridge. If I can hack Firefly's communication channel, I can learn more. Anything 
the cops try anything stupid, kill a few hostages. Sure thing. And, uh, how long before we set the timers on the bombs? Not until the bat shows. We'll wait all night if we have to. There's 50 million dollars riding on this. Alfred, Firefly has hostages on the Pioneer's Bridge. I need to deal with him before coming back. Oh, can't you just let the police handle Mr. Linz? Especially in light of what we've just learned. I can't abandon those hostages. They're in jeopardy because of me. Because of the bounty Joker placed on my head. They'll be safe in the Batcave. Thank <laughs> you. 